All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here on the review table, and in front of you are the two SIG X5. One's a Legion, and one is like a little custom deal that I built with the help of those guys over there at Live Free Armory. And this is a bad little mamma jamma. And this is more for me to be kind of like a service duty weapon. Now, once we get an RMR in, we're going to go ahead and put it on top of here, but we're going to have a really nice time with these high rise. Trijicon Night Sights, the LF320 Elite. And we've got some other things coming from those guys. It's going to be a lot of fun, as well as we're collaborating on a 6.5 Creedmoor build, like, kind of like a duty Creedmoor. Ooh, duty, duty Creedmoor. Oh, yeah. So anyway, what happened? So uh, Live Free Armory sent out this slide. I bought the frame. I took the old uh, P320 Compact uh fire control module and put it in here and then we're getting to the story okay so we got the fire control module and in this and unfortunately i haven't sent this back uh <laughs> one day i actually will but what i want to show you is leading into what i'm going to be shooting at the sniper's unknown challenge we kind of changed up the entire rig once we get everything put together i'm going to lead you through all the cool things that we had to accumulate in order to be successful hopefully be successful in that whole thing but uh, we're going to lead into this guy right here. This is Legion X5. And as you may have guessed, the title of this video is the Grey Guns P320 uh, Trigger. And uh, this is a competition trigger. So I just wanted to show you. I can't show you the install because, uh, well, they'll shut my channel down. And, uh, well, that's it. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the differences between, say, the regular standard trigger where you've got a look at all that travel oh my god i used to think that this was the greatest trigger on the market look at that thing Ooh, and there you go uh, what's the poundage on this thing actually it's not that bad as far as striker fire firearms are going i'm going to pull from a quarter inch up and it didn't register there we go let's do it again here we go all right here we go Four pounds, 12.2 ounces, which is a decent weight for a carry gun, duty gun. You're not going to accidentally take this thing and pop off, a, you know, a triple tap on it. Now, let's talk about this. Uh, this is the SIG Legion X5. Uh, this was uh, handed over to the uh, channel via the, the man over there with the plan, Mr. Pops Quest. Now, this has the tungsten... Uh, infield frame and that's kind of interesting the difference between the two now i know i don't have a uh a red dot on what am i doing on this guy right here but i just want to show you uh the uh tungsten field frame compared to that's 40.3 ounces and then this with the regular x5 is 28.5 ounces. So a huge difference in there. Now, what does that relate to uh, while you're shooting? You're going to have a lot less recoil, a lot less muzzle flip. So this is why this is my going to be my go-to gun for competition. And I may, when I ever, if I ever go into uh, shooting uh, TAC op, not TAC ops, but if I go into shooting any of the uh, uh Optics carry, carry optics in USPSA. I'll probably just shoot this thing. I have always shot a 2011 in competition other than the CZ. Now, I'll tell you this. Uh, installed the Gray Guns trigger. Here's the biggest thing. This thing is uh, unbelievable. The reset, the pull up on it. I'm going to show you. Here we go. See, there's the take up. There's the pull. And then a the reset. Now, as far as... Polymer or striker fire firearms, that's incredible. If you can see the what the standard is, there's a huge difference. Now, if you remember, that thing was what? Four pounds, 12 ounces? Watch this. This guy, this guy here, let's do a quarter inch, try to get it on there. Two pounds, 5.2. I was having this thing pull at one pound, one pound, 14 ounces the other day. It was pulling consistently. Two pounds, 6.8. Uh, but anyway, the cool thing is, what does that what does that do downrange? Your double taps on target, uh, getting the sights on, and having to just squeeze, boom, 
you're getting less movement, horizontal, back and forth, up and down, boom. Uh, the reset, your, your, your uh, double tap is going to be a lot faster. So, uh, all together, the Sig Legion X5 with the Grey Guns trigger. Uh, and a lot of people have asked me, and I'm just going to say a lot of people have asked me about the Apex trigger and how it would relate. Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. I, I do know that with this guy right here, you have to, we had to, or I had to replace the two springs right here. You have your disconnect right there. Uh, there was a couple springs over here and I can't remember what else. There was a couple other things. Uh, work the trigger. A good YouTube channel. I know that he does a lot of shooting with uh, Pops Quest, but uh, he has an entire tutorial on how to install that X, uh, uh, the, uh, what do you call this thing? The Grey Guns P320 trigger. Uh, so, with that being said, let's get on out to the range, and I just want to maybe measure out. Now, I know it's not a comparison because I don't have a dot on this guy, but I can show you. We can do the splits and see how fast the splits are between like a five round count. I don't know. We'll just have some fun with it, but I just wanted to show you, hold on, here we go, that trigger system. And this is going to be the uh, firearm that I will be using during the Sniper Zone Challenge. Uh, one of the other parts is that when I'm shooting with a dot, I don't have to use glasses. This, uh, the Delta Point Pro that's on here, I uh, got it from the Big Daddy Unlimited program over there. Uh, you can go to my website, and I tell you what, for $9.99 a month, you can't beat it. But I saved more money on this than I would have spent on the subscription for uh, the whole year. And I'm not joking. So anyway, uh, yeah. So we're going to take this thing out. We're going to bang some steel with it. We're going to have some fun. Let's do some splits and see how they look side by side. Let's get on out to the range and see how it rolls. Stand by. All right, guys. So we're sitting out here at the range. And uh, I'll be quite honest with you. I did a tabletop review on this trigger system uh, prior to going to the Snipers Unknown. And, of course, right now we are after Snipers Unknown. <laughs> In any case, I will tell you this. Uh, yeah, Grey Guns Trigger. They did a great job on this guy. Um, very well, nicely done. So we are actually uh, shooting at some steel by Mr. Jonathan Campbell over there. And uh, we're going to be doing a review on that here pretty soon. But what I want to do... It's one of the most beautiful things. The weight of this pistol right here is amazing. I got some targets set up way up out there at the 50 yard and one of the other things that i absolutely love about this trigger is well everything uh it is the closest thing that i could get to a 2011 trigger and the reset uh the pull the christmas it is unreal and as long as you're pointing in the right direction when that thing goes off if you're on target you're going to have a great day let's shoot some more stand by all right, so the problem that I'm having, I got an OEM trigger in the other one over there, uh, the other uh, SIG. It's got a uh, X5 lower on it, uh, but I forgot my timer. So, just finding the dot. Whoops. Repeatability. And this is what my good friend Rob was talking about, is that those are mostly all A-zones as fast as you can pull the trigger. Double taps are ridiculously smooth with this trigger. Uh, I bought this thing. I'm not looking to impress anybody, but I will tell you this. I've justified my uh, expenditures on it by creating what, in my mind, is the perfect uh, striker-fired handgun. So with that being said, guys, uh, the reset, the weight, the, everything about it, the smoothness is disgusting. Now, this is cool. Uh, just took receipt of the Wilson Combat uh, P320 that came with a Grey Guns trigger with a separate set of springs in it. So we're going to be testing that out here in the upcoming weeks and just having fun. But I will tell you this, I have, as an overall package, especially with the Surefire on there, added weight, the tungsten grip, the trigger, uh, the Delta Point Pro, 
this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so if you're looking to uh, increase in a competition gun, I would never carry this trigger, by the way, in a carry gun. Uh, <laughs> just too much could go wrong. All you have to do is flinch and bam, it would go off. But I will tell you this, as far as competition triggers, if you want to bring your, you know, very expensive handgun up to where it needs to be, that guy right there. It's kind of a shame that you got to spend, what, $165 to bring already a $1,000 gun up to the next level. But it is what it is. So with that being said, guys, uh, I hope you liked this video. It was a lot of fun for me to make and learn uh, we had a great time down there at the uh, Snipers Unknown Challenge. We got another DMR match coming up on uh, December 12th down in North Carolina. And uh, yeah, I'll be carrying this. And it's going to be hard for me after shooting this going back to the 2011. I got to be honest with you. It's kind of sad, but it is true. So uh, yeah, we'll always end them like this. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Code of War 32. I'm out. Y'all be good. Whew. Bam. Now we got to pick up the brass. <laughs>